It's me, JD, and welcome back to more Epic 7 stuff. Um, they just dropped some new things, new content that I was about to take a look at. And a uh, new update just happened. Just updated it. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Might I don't as well care look what you do. Just try not to get on my nerves. <laughs> Dealing with you. We saw our animations already Just with the boss fight in the first part of the event, so. What? We know she's got a squid. Why are you staring like that? Ice Warrior. Levy is the caretaker of the mysterious Tarav Island, and she's also the manager of the island's resort. Mm -hmm. When she was young, Levy's parents decided to go on a family Sorry, how do you pronounce her name? Resort. When she was young, Levy's parents decided. Levy. Okay. Levy. Uh, oh, we can look at her base. Uh, I'll probably show people. her base stats later. But on the way, they got caught up in a violent storm. Like in a bigger maroon screen. On Tarev Island. Not long after, Levy lost her family on the island. And since then, she's been living her life dependent on a strange voice. Strange voice. Okay. Levy is a five-star ice element. All right, let's take a look at her stats. Mm, really low attack, actually. That's actually super low for a warrior. I don't think I've seen a warrior as low as that. That might be the lowest one. Aquarius warrior. Uh, decent health. Uh, whoa, she's fast. 121. That's quite fast for a warrior. 613, decent, decent tank. And she's speedy. Defensive imprint. Did she scale off defense or something? Mental warrior. She has and she's got a bit of for a warrior, effectiveness. And can increase her effectiveness through her imprint concentration. Strange stats. Skill two for a warrior. Dreamer in the deep does not cost any soul. Okay, hold on. Dreamer in the deep as two does not cost any soul to activate the caster's first soul burn when attacking. Has a seventy five percent chance to inflict one omen on the target, regardless of whether the attack hits. Cannot be activated by counter attack, dual attack, or extra attack. Uh, okay, first of all, it's a hundred percent with skill enhancements. So. Omen, something is watching, unaffected by effect resistance, cannot be dispelled, transferred, or resisted with immunity. Stacks up to three. Um, okay. It doesn't look like Omen actually does anything by itself. There's probably another skill that does something depending on how many Omen stacks they have. Activate the caster so I guess this is just to apply Omen. Has up to a 100% chance to Plus she gets soul burn. Omen on the target, Free soul regardless burn. Regardless of whether the attack hits. Cannot and, be activated and evasion by doesn't work on her. Dual attack or extra attack. There it is, Omen. Skill three, freeze over. Attacks all enemies with a frozen map. Sorry, I didn't look at the cooldown. On this? Wait a minute, what? Regardless of whether. Is there no cooldown on this skill? The attack hits. Cannot be activated by a counter attack, dual attack, or. Oh, it's a passive. I think. Cannot is this be a passive? It is a passive. Attack, dual attack, or extra attack. Skill three, freeze over. Attacks all enemies with a frozen mass. Mm -hmm. Decreasing buff durations by one turn before having up to 100% chance each to inflict frostbite and restrict for two turns. Mm. When 20 soul is consumed, grants an extra turn to the caster. Hmm, I see. Debuffer, that's what that was. And it applies omen. I mean, she's pretty similar to her boss fight so far. <laughs> Skill one, wave slash. Attacks the enemy with a sword before increasing the speed of the caster for one turn. Mm -hmm. After attacking, when the target's omen is three, oh, it's exactly all, like the boss fight. Call of the Abyss consumes all of it. Call of the Abyss. Call of the Abyss invokes a deep sea creature to attack the extinction, enemy, and when the enemy is defeated, inflicts extinction and recovers the health of all heals. Allies. Cannot trigger Pen's defense and penetrates the target. How much defense. damage does it do? Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's max health. Scales off health. Amount recovered increases proportional to the target's max health. Heal scales off health too. Wow. Leave these artifacts. I mean, you know, generally, from what I've seen so far, skills, skill like damaging skills that scale off of health, um, they scale pretty hard. Um, but I don't know about no crit. I mean, it's no you can't crit, but it does pen defense so i guess actually so maybe this this whoa i didn't take a look at the, i didn't see the damage number before but that looked pretty big wait so she has 
20 she has 26k hp here proportional to the target and call the abyss 16k wow that's um that's a lot that's a lot of damage <laughs> especially since you don't need to build offensive stats on her to get that man that's hmm these artifacts that seems pretty strong solitude. prayer solitude increases Show health at the night sky increases damage dealt black robe of darkness when it's an extra attack increases damage up by an additional 10 percent she wishes upon the oh she gets extra 20 percent damage dealt on her call the abyss increases it's crazy by up to 10 percent yeah that's happy, like perfect for increases her damage dealt by up to 10 percent and when it is an extra attack increases damage dealt by an additional 10 percent Wow. Okay. So to me, she seems like a, she seems like a good bruiser to use, in a probably a normal comp. Or um, uh, she kind of has a stacking mechanic, kind of similar to like um. She seems almost like a D Corvus MLK Ron kind of unit where you kind of just sit there as a tank and you wait, uh, you wait a certain amount of turns in order to do a bunch of damage. Because you need a stack of omen. I guess in this case she needs to attack. So you could probably build speed on her, which makes her better than a MLK Ron at least. Blooming in the Azure Ocean. Hmm. Players will be able to meet with you through the limited summon starting July 20th. Thank you. Hmm. Leafy? Leafy or Lef? I don't know. I don't know which one I think sounds better. She seems pretty strong. Um Give all that you have. I'll take a quick look at this at this damage. That she deals. I kind of want to see how much Call the Abyss does. I'm going to assume all her other abilities don't really do that much damage. Actually, this is the one where she hit for 16k. Um, I mean, it only scales off health. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it can't crit. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't scale off attack that much because she has really low base attack. So, yeah. That seems pretty strong to me. Um, I don't think you can put a counter set on her because her passive doesn't work with counter. Other than that, um, yeah, that seems really strong. Please be viable, <laughs> so I can so I can use her in uh, so I can use her in in PvP. Very nice, very cool. I like her design. I don't know if I mentioned this, but um, like she's at probably like top three in in my design, like my my aesthetic lands right in my zone. Number one, oh man, I, I have a hard time debating though. Hmm. Because before, um, I, I really liked Celine. Celine was like my number one favorite uh, unit in terms of looks. And then Ilyanov came out and I liked Ilyanov better. So Celine dropped to number two. I think Celine will have to drop down to number three because I like left too. Navy Captain Lady. Let's take a look at, it. Let's take a look at her. Nothing more, nothing less. We're Copy getting to that. summons after this. That and then I might take a look at the, um, the second part of the event. Oh, I don't know if I'll release like a guide for the second part of the event. Um, name and rank. Just depends Help on how I'm now. feeling. Don't let Looks like she has a passive as well. To command the fleet. Navy Captain Landy was born into a prestigious family. You know, I don't know what's with um, developers and chains, like anchors, recently. Because I saw, I don't play the game anymore, but I saw on Lost Ark they released a new character, and she used like um, she has this ability that drops like a chain hook down on her enemy, and it and it kind of has like the same animation as um as ML Landy's chain in, uh, on her anchor. So I don't, I don't know what's with that. Maybe it's just Captain coincidence. Maybe Captain Landy is a five-star light elemental knight. Ooh, okay. Light knight. Defensive. Um, she has pretty high attack for a knight. That's high attack, and she has low health. High attack, low health. Pretty high defense, actually. Um, but she's slow. Man, she's slow. Um, <laughs> that might land her in one of the slowest, actually. Uh, but she has inherent crit chance. She has a relatively high attack for a knight, and can increase her attack further hmm. through her imprint concentration. Imprint concentration attack. Also, also Skilled. ML Landy is is um unique in the sense that this is an ML version of a of a limited unit, and I think this is the first one, the first ML version of a limited unit. I can't think of another ML 
unit off the top of my head that has a limited RGB version. Two, anyway. Ruler of the sea. Immune to debuffs. With immune to debuffs. And oh, she's immune to stun and sleep. So what does that really stop? Like champions, idle, see, uh, conquer Lilias, sleep, uh, which is the, whatever that, the green opener was. I forgot what her name was. The one that puts you to sleep. Um, increases crit hit resistance by 50%. Increases critical hit resistance by up to 70%. Up to 70? At the start of battle, increases critical hit resistance of all allies, except for the caster. For what the heck? After attacking, no increases crits. the attack of the caster by 10%. Wow. Can stack. After attacking, increases the attack of the caster by 10 She also has stacking attack. Wow. This effect can stack. Oh my god, the crit hit resistance. Jesus Christ. I already hate crit hit resistance, by the way. That's like the most RNG. I never crit on crit hit resistance, no matter how much crit I have. That's the whole ML Bologna is about to pop off once uh once Captain Landy comes Bill in. Three, mobilize the warship. After increasing the attack of the caster for three turns, self attack all buff. enemies with the warship, stunning them. Stuns. AoE stun. Penetrates the target's defense. With defense. Pe Whoa! Stunning them for one turn. What the? Penetrates the target's defense. Oh my god. Obviously, it's a showcase, I don't think. I don't know if you can really take the damage into consideration with the showcase. Plus, she has what? She has the Conquer Lilius buff as well, Vigor. Man, but that's a lot of damage. Um, hmm. Skill one, precision targeting. <laughs> Attacks the enemy with gunfire and okay. increases the combat readiness of the caster by up to 25%. 25% CR boost. After attacking, has a 40% chance to activate salvo fire as an extra attack. Salvo fire. Salvo fire attacks all enemies by firing off artillery. Oh. And recovers health of the caster. Whoa. The amount recovered increases proportional to the caster's attack. Oh my god. When 10 soul is consumed, increases the effect chance. Oh my god. Whoa. And plus, I think that works on counter. It doesn't say it doesn't proc off, off of uh, extra uh, counters, extra attacks, or stuff like that. Yeah, you could set her on counter. My god. Health of the cat. When Jesus. Soul is consumed, increases the that seems pretty strong to me. I mean, that seems pretty strong, but at the end of the day, well, we can only really, it just depends on our multipliers. I don't think you can really tell the, like any, she seems like a, a damage dealer, another bruiser damage dealer to me, kind of like a Leth. Um, but you know, her damage is going to be, how good she is, is totally dependent on how her good her multipliers are going to be. Um, if she can do a lot of damage or not, because if she doesn't do any damage like Kron, then, then she'll be bad. Obviously, uh, she has a little bit of utility Command with the whole um, crit hit resistance and the uh, stun. Through the Mystic Summon starting oh August, 3rd. August 3rd. That's pretty soon. I don't have enough ML summons okay. to get her, probably. I'll have to get really lucky to get her. Man, I should have saved my ML bookmarks for her. <laughs> she seems really strong to me. Um, if she can do damage. Yeah. I mean, but even even as a, yeah, as like a as like a, I don't think you really want to pick her as like a traditional knight pick. Um, but she she's she, since she's light, she can be used with um, Arrowell. My God, I don't know. That seems really that seems really toxic to me. Actually, the crit hit resistance. She has seventy percent crit hit resistance. <sighs> if I do get her and use her, I'll probably get crit anyway. But um, yeah, she seems really solid. Both of these really seem like really good units to me. Let's move on to the summons. Hmm? All right, all right, let's get it. Get me this unit. I want Le Lethe, Lethe. Okay, here we are in the banner. You'll never get close to me. I am not, I don't have enough to pity this uh, unless I spend some crystals too. So let's just hope I get her. Like, ten, like just one tap it. Come on, just one tap it. Come on. One tap it. One tap it. Let's see. Yeah, that's a warrior. Ah, uh, it's not a shine though. Okay. Next. Hmm. You know, I was playing some other games recently. 
like Diablo 4. Like I was, I was playing Diablo 4, and they just, they just put out a patch that made me like super weak. And that sucks because I was excited for season one, and maybe season one will be a little bit better, but I'm not sure. Maybe you should stream it. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of games that are coming out that I want to play and stream, but it just are not. Um, Uh, there's none on the- ooh, that was terrible. Ooh, there we go. A collect 208. I think we got it. I got a stamp, so we, I think we got her. <laughs> it sucks I didn't get her artifact. I'll have to buy it in the shop or something. There it is. I don't care what you do. Just try not to get all my nerves. I like her voice act. I like her voice too. Her voice sounds good. Mmm. Nice. Can we get our artifact? In the same summon? Ah, uh, probably not. Whoa, it's a lot of shinies in this batch. Oh my god, how many shinies are there? Whoa. One, two, three, four, five. Half the half the summons here were shinies plus left. Not bad. I wonder if I have enough to buy her um You keep swarming! To buy her artifact. Let's buy it. I mean, it's an exclusive artifact, so might as well get it. Probably her best in slot. Okay, I'll uh, I'll, I'll I'll do some, you know, team building, theory crafting on my own time. Um, and I, and if I can do level five of this, or I guess what is it called? Challenge level two. If I can do hidden basement challenge level two, um, I'll try to I'll try to do it on. Like on recording if I can so uh, that'll be it for me uh, if you enjoyed you should subscribe and I might keep doing this stuff in the future the last one got pretty good responses I guess <laughs> and um, yeah pray for the RNG gods so you can get uh, these heroes summons quickly and that'll be it for me goodbye goodbye Thank you.